We will kick things off. Um, I'm Spencer Green. I'm the real estate coordinator for the Office of Economic Development with the city. Um, it is exciting. This is my first ribbon cutting for me to kick things off. Um, and it's an exciting one. Um, we're going to go through remarks from the mayor, um, Daniel Rickman, the president of Hughes Development, Robert Hughes, and the owner of p Ashley Lamb. Um, on behalf of the city and as a real estate professional, um, we couldn't be more excited to have a development such as Bull Street come into life like it is. It's fun to drive through here. And Robert was saying something earlier about the construction, but I enjoy it because there's things happening. There's things going on. People are moving here. And Bull Street as a whole has been an incredible success story. And to get a, um, to get a name brand like Pvolv right here in the heart with this workout, I will say I'm a little disappointed Jennifer Aniston wasn't here. <laughs> Stole my line. <laughs> Well, I, well, Ryan Coleman did tell me if I did this, I'd get to meet her. So I was all on board for that. Um, but no, it's exciting times. I know that the mayor will echo everything that's going on in the city and what Bull Street and an announcement like PVOLV means for us. And so welcome. And Mr. Mayor, I'll hand it over to you. Good afternoon, everybody. You know, I got to tell you, this is getting to be exciting because I, I've lost count on how many ribbon cuttings we've had over the last several years, but every one of them is exciting. But it's really special about this, too, as well, not only having the first franchise in the state of South Carolina right here in, in Bull Street and, and with a, a, a hometown resident a, as the owner and operator, it's also exciting because it's another woman-owned business in our community, and the majority of the ribbon cuttings that we've been doing over the last 18 months have been women-owned. And I think that's a, th that is a story that's worth telling in Columbia and shows who we are as a community, that we support all businesses. And Columbia's had decades and decades of being behind small businesses. That's why I ended up staying here in this community because in 1994 I opened my first business and I opened it because I watch other people open small businesses here and these communities rally around it. Being here in historic Bull Street and watching it grow and having the different facets is what makes Columbia so special and so unique. When we tell people our story, and we haven't done it for a long time, we actually tell our story across the Southeast and when we travel, people are just shocked at all the things that we have in Columbia. They're like, why don't y'all tell anybody about this community? And I said, well, we're starting to, and you're seeing that. Ha having attractions, having uh, a franchise like this be here, it adds to what people want. They want to see that. They've been to other cities. They've seen this. Well, why don't we have it? Well, we do have it. It's right here on Bull Street, and it's locally owned and operated. And that's what makes it exciting. And we continue to look as the construction goes on, the new pieces, new neighbors. Uh, you know, I'm going to feel guilty every time I go next door and get fried chicken and somebody's over here working out as I finish two biscuits and a, and a handful of chicken. But no, we're really excited about what's happening. Uh, the residents that are moving here, I've already heard of some folks who are moving in September. They're really excited. This is what it's all about. This is about what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a community comes together and stands behind each business and each, each development. We want to grow. This is what's going to keep our young folks here. This is where our future workforce wants to be in, a walkable, livable area. And with that, I'll turn it over to our master developer here, uh, Robert, who I can't say enough about. And Robert took this project really over from his dad, and, and I just feel like Robert has put his heart and soul in it. And when we have conversations, it's not about challenges or hurdles, it's all about opportunities, and I like those conversations. I greatly appreciate that, Mr. Mayor, and, and I thank you all for being here today. Today is really a day about gratitude and thanks and congratulations. Um, you, you know, you, none of this, not just PVOLV behind me, not just the building behind me, but nothing out here would be in the condition that it's in today without the city of Columbia, without leaders like Mayor Rickenman, um, others from city council, city staff. Uh, it, it has really been an incredible collaborative effort that has created what we're all enjoying today and what is only going to become better and better. 
uh, you know, our team, we have a lot of folks from the Bull Street team here today. Um, Randy, Danita, and Janie, who are all on site every single day making projects like this happen. Our Greenville office, Ashley's here. Um, there, there are a lot of people that it takes to make projects like this come together, and I'm so thankful and honored to get to work with the people that I get to work with every single day. Uh, and then you think about the construction team. Think about Cone Construction. What an incredible job. And I know there's so many members of that team here today, but what an incredible job they did. For anyone who's not been inside yet, I mean, there's no detail missed. It is a beautiful space, and it would not have come to life without Cone and their team. And then the overall project, the building, Samet Construction, who's building both blocks that we're standing behind, or I'm standing in front of, um, you guys are looking back at, and Prophet Dixon Partners, the developer of the apartment building upstairs. Uh, Bennett at Bull Street is a tremendous project. Uh, you know, I might be biased, but I think the nicest apartments in the market um, just started leasing and they're delivering more and more units every week, and it's been a, a great to see that project come to life. But really, the gratitude and the thanks today is for Ashley Lamb. Uh, you know, having a Lexington, South Carolina native, a Midlands native, uh, investing back in her community, growing the Bull Street District. And as Mayor Rickman said, what she's doing here really symbolizes what's happening at Bull Street, but what's happening all throughout this community, all throughout Columbia. New businesses opening all the time. Um, if you don't follow Mayor Rickman on Instagram, I feel like every other post is a ribbon cutting. Somebody else investing in Columbia, growing this community, improving the quality of life, bringing diverse new offerings, something different that hasn't been here before, um, and bringing that energy, that energy to Bull Street, that energy to this city. Uh, and we're just honored to have you here. We're really proud of what you've accomplished already. We know it's only going to get better and better from here. Um, your success is our success, and we're here to help you in any possible way that we can uh, as you continue to grow. And as Mayor Rickman also mentioned, you know, Tupelo Honey Cafe will open next door this fall. Methodical Coffee will open just down the street this fall. And that's, those are just two of many more announcements and many more businesses that are going to open here um, and we'll learn more about over the coming months. Uh, and, and it's just a really exciting time at Bull Street. It's an exciting time in the city of Columbia. We're honored to be a part of it. We're honored to be Ashley's landlord. And I'm really proud to say you're our tenant. You're open. Uh, the podium is now yours, but congratulations and thank you for trusting us. I'm a little short. I have to move this down. So I'm so excited to have this day finally here. Um, I began PVOV almost six years ago after my second son was born, and I literally started doing the workouts in my office. Um, I would shut the door on my lunch hour and do them, and I was immediately drawn to the fact that it was a woman-owned company, and it was a workout designed for women. I loved the workout. I loved the way it made my body feel, and I have told so many people about the functional movement workout over the years. When they decided to offer the franchise, I looked at my husband and I said, I want to do this. And I'm going to get teary eyed, but he has supported me the entire time. He has stood beside me and let me fulfill the dream that I've always had. And I don't want to cry. I don't. But I would not be here without him and without Brian Pattison and Cone Construction and Kent and Carly and Chris, who could not be here, but all of my family and friends that have supported me. I'm so sorry, I'm so emotional. But to own this business has been my dream forever and to be a part of Pevolve. It's a woman-owned business founded by women for women. We are for men too. So I'm going to have Mayor Rickman and I'm going to have Robert in a class. I'm going to have Spencer. I'm going to have my attorney, Ben, who was also integral part of us being here in a class. And y'all, our members are loving it. It is such a holistic way to work out that works with your body, that does not hurt your body. I've got an amazing team of trainers. I'm a trainer myself, but my three trainers are, are here. And just to have everybody here to celebrate PVOLV and my dream means the world to me. So thank y'all so, so much. And I'm sorry I got emotional. Yeah. <laughs>